name is Mrs. Obiano, the CEO of Nelma Integrated Agro Farms. I've been a farmer for a while, but I've been doing this backyard farming. Uh -huh. But I went into farming proper as a poultry farming in um, 2019. 2019 when we have this uh, when this corona saga came so i was working with exxon mobile when this corona came you know most of the firms were shut down and so i thought of what i would do after that and i said okay since i have an experience in poultry farming why don't i just use this time and go into it proper so that was how I started. I started off with um, 5,000 birds. It was, um, it was actually farmer-lads, vet brood, that helped me brood in the 5,000. So after brooding, I caged them exactly 16 weeks. So after caging them, they started dropping at exactly 21 weeks. So we started having eggs and um, Vetpro was buying those eggs from us. So, and after a while, we couldn't meet up with demands anymore. So I thought of my, I, I spoke with my husband. My husband really loved what I was doing. So he supported me, friends, family. So, and I thought of expanding Nelma Farm. So that was how we expanded Nelma Farms. We have branches in Ekwe, Ketu Ekwe, and in Elekoi Beach. So I heard about Famalas Academy, and I thought it would be very good for me to still come and learn more about poultry farming. Because I know that I don't really know much about it, you know, all this trial and error of the thing. So, Dr. Femi spoke with me and um, I started coming for the, the course in Farmer Life Academy. So when I got here, uh, it was really an eye opener to so many things. I, in fact, I, I just, I was happy because I learned a lot, a lot. You know, when I, when I, when I say a lot, I learned so many new things, things I didn't know about poultry farming. One of the key quality I got from Farmerlass Academy is biosecurity. It helped me a great deal, a great deal, because I can remember when I, I had my 5,000 birds, um, some of my pen workers, you know, daily we were recording mortalities. We were recording mortalities and I kept on replacing mortalities. I kept on replacing mortalities and we we're just counting mortalities. So I didn't, I didn't know anything about biosecurity then. I thought you just open a farm, employ uh, 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 pen workers, have a farm manager. It was. After this academy, I know that even my farm manager, even my supervisor, even my pen attender don't even know anything. They don't know anything. But the biosecurity helps me a lot. The biosecurity aspect that I learned in farm academy helped my farm. When I put all this thing in practice, I noticed that mortalities reduced, in fact, a great deal. It reduced so much that I was so happy. And um, poultry management in all, like getting the right feed, the quality feed, the, the correct amount of feed. No, then I didn't know how many my pets were eating. My family, my manager would tell me, ah, he will calculate, they are supposed to eat certain amount. I never knew he was just, he was underfeeding them. We were busy underfeeding, you know. Until I got to this academy, I learned some things there and applied it into my farm and it worked for me. I started with 5,000 birds and now 
to the glory of God, I have 26,000 beds. Yes. I have 26,000 laying birds now. Yes, I um, before anything I will I will give all thanks to God. Because uh, without the help of God, no human being can do anything. And secondly, I thank my husband. You know, couples, when your wife has a dream and the husband supports her, you find out that the dream comes to pass. And when the husband has a dream too and the wife is there to support him, everything will go smoothly. You see, when I started the farm alert, just a few weeks to this program, my husband saw a dramatic change in everything in the farm. You know, there was a time my husband was kind of, you know, being discouraged with the kind of with the kind of workers we have, with the kind of thefts, with the kind of uh, of, of mortalities. You know, he said, ah, "Why are you losing so much?" But just two weeks to this program, I started applying everything I learned from him, and again, he was encouraged. He said, "Look, I will support you." I said, I'm thinking of expanding because I have 5,000 and I can't even meet the demand of the community that I am. I sat in there and said, if I'm able to expand, I'll be able, I'll not only be, be satisfying my community as a Lego, as um, Lagos as a whole, I'll be able to do a little I can do. Because egg production, we have children. There are some children that are malnourished. They may not have money to buy fish, protein, chicken, or meat. But when you give them one egg a day, it does a lot for them. So I spoke with my husband. I said, please, I need support. And he said he's going to support me. So he started running around. You know, he, God did it. God did it. We got a bigger land in K2. We got one in Equa too. So we stocked in chicken, full eggs, and we started. That was how we started the expansion. <laughs>